and welcome to my channel. For those of you new, my name is Dave and I work in financial services. And these videos are a mixture and journey towards financial freedom. They will cover financial products and financial well-being so you, like me, can meet your goals and dreams sometime in the future. Now let's get into this latest video. Now this latest video is about improving your financial literacy. The aim is to create a skill level and improve your knowledge so you can become financially literate where you can, can ultimately control your own finances. Do you want to take ownership and control of your own financial situation? Whether that may be to reach short term goals, to improve your current scenario, or maybe create some kind of financial stability whereby you can clear outstanding debt, become mortgage free, or ultimately thinking long term to create a plan for early retirement, shall we say, or financial independence. Now it may well be your first goal is to get comfortable with handling money and how you create what we call so-called financial confidence. So you then become happy and comfortable with money so it becomes a friend to you. Not something you dislike or disdain or something you ultimately fear. Ideally financial confidence is based upon your ability to handle and control money coming in and out of your life. The simple ideas and steps shown in this video will greatly improve your financial acumen and confidence and will take you to a greater level which will secure your financial security as, you, as long as you act on these principles. It is believed that 90% of the people are classed as so-called financially ignorant and they have very little concept of how money operates so ultimately they have very little savings and assets. Okay. It may well be the most that they have are the properties they live or through a pension, through the work clothes, through what we call auto enrollment. But recent studies have shown the vast majority of people have less than £1,000 in savings or some kind of emergency money and they are living ultimately paycheck to paycheck. Does this so-called situation give you undue stress or a predicament that gives you financial worry? The situation arisen because we don't teach financial education in schools or the subject of personal finance and investing and in saving is considered UK mainly within the United Kingdom. As a nation we talk about sports, hobbies, lifestyle but we don't discuss our finances with other people outside of our ex immediate family. Conventional wisdom is we live in a western society where we are programmed to consume what we have to keep the economy going through the government and we are ultimately permanently bombarded with adverts, offers, emails about the latest products we can buy at short notice, whether we need them or not, whether we can afford them to buy them or not, or we resort to some kind of credit cards, loans, or to facilitate the most so-called wanted or latest products. It also may be to upgrade your car to keep up with the Joneses or the neighbours, it may well be regular holidays. Now I'm not saying you stop sending money and become, shall we say, frugal, okay? But you should only buy things if you can afford them. Set money aside to make them purchase. Don't be putting yourself in undue debt to impress other people. Simple example is you see a nice car on the street. You take very little notice of the actual driver. You're concentrating more upon the car going past. Ultimately, you have to believe in yourself and you have to step out of your comfort zone. Where do you see yourself in future? You will be in the same position in five years time, as a simple example, if you carry on doing the same things. You may even be in a worse position due to, shall we say, rising inflation. You need to set yourself some goals. You need to create a plan to improve yourself, okay, for the next 30 days, next six months, say short term, six to 12 months, okay? Ultimately, think about the next five to 10 years. Take out a simple piece of paper, write down specific things you want to achieve, such as where you want to leave, what holidays do you want to take, who do you want to associate with, what qualifications may you want to achieve, shall we say, what car will you want to drive, okay? Will you be in the same employment? Do you fancy moving to a new career? Do you want to study, shall we say, and improve your current or your future situation. So create a vision of what your life may look like. Now it may seem daunting at first, but do it in small steps. Take out a pen and paper, get active for say one evening after work or at the weekends when you've got free time. It may be the best decision you make. 
A simple example, when you go on holiday, you create a plan of where you want to go and how you get there. You don't just turn to the airport, you've got some kind of plan in place. Make them same decisions with your financial future, both now in the short term and ultimately for your long term plans. Now remember, if you like the videos, smash the like button, subscribe to this channel and we'll now go through what steps you need to take. Invest in yourselves, become engaged and interested in your finances. Nobody should care more about your finances than you. Start off relatively small. Read books, okay? There are tons of books on the internet, in libraries, shall we say, online. Newspaper articles, financial videos, financial papers, webinars, YouTube videos, financial podcasts, etc. So the information is there, it's just people don't know where it is. Look on platform providers, shall we say. You invest, Interactive Investor, Hargis Lansdowne, Vanguard. They all have great information, okay? Use the information, it's free to improve your knowledge. Or maybe some, some like a basic website just the government offer, the money helper website. The information is out there, but people don't know where it is or how these products work. The industry and financial services creates an illusion. It is complicated and you need a financial advisor to help you. You may do for certain products, but for the vast majority of people, it is a simple procedure. You can take it yourself. So get invested in yourself. Take a personal interest. How are you going to achieve your objectives? Okay, you're going to have to start saving or investing a regular amount each month. Set up a standard order, set up a direct debit. Learn to pay yourself first. Now, most people are doing it the wrong way around. They save money at the end of the month, which ultimately results in not saving very little because they've got nothing left. We're doing it the wrong way around. We are living in a cost of living crisis. So pay yourself first, payday the first of the month. Okay. Now, this may appeal impossible at first, okay, but start off small. £25, £50, £100 a month as a simple example. And as your confidence grows, learn to say invest, say stocks and shares, simple ETFs, bonds, funds, investment trusts, which normally produce greater assets over a consistent period, okay, albeit for a greater level of risk. But start off small. And as your confidence grows, okay, venture out into different products. But stay within your circle of confidence, your comfort zone. Now, when you start out, only invest in things or products you understand. It is not a get-rich-quick scheme. You will make money, you will lose money over the years. But the average, shall we say, is an 8% return across the stock markets. It will reward you handsomely over a long period of time. And as part of that journey, learn to continually improve your knowledge and learn to acquire what we call income producing assets. Now, most people buy houses, they buy cars on finances, which will actually cost you money to maintain or upkeep. You need to understand how assets work and how they will grow in value. Okay. And then to reinvest them assets, which will obviously be a great rewarding due to the power of compound. Now it may well be you create what we call a passive income, so dividends, rental income, but reinvest some assets in a tax income producing wrapper. Okay, you need to create things what we call assets which will grow in value over time and will reduce an income or increase in value for you. Not liabilities which are things that are costing you money, which may well even lose money in value, and is having a negative or an inverse effect on your personal situation, both now in the short term and ultimately in the long term. So learn to create what we call assets, which will grow for you and improve your situation moving forwards. And see yourself rich, believe in yourself, as we said, create a vision of where you want to achieve. Break it down into bite-sized chunks. It is a marathon, not a sprint. Learn, within your, learn to live within your means and do not compare yourself to others. And ultimately, learn from your mistakes. Nobody will get every decision right, okay? But it's how you react to those decisions and your outcomes that will massively improve, one, your knowledge, and two, your investor confidence. As I said, 
you will have good months, you will have bad months, you will have good years, you will have bad years, but think long term. And finally, be aware of where you get your information from. The information is full of so-called scammers, get-rich-quick glories. Do your due diligence, do your background checks. Follow companies, okay, which have a good track record. They offer products you wish you wanted to, okay. Follow people who are successful, who were in the same position as you, let's just say five, ten years ago, but have now they have reached their goals, their objectives, and they have created some kind of financial security. Now remember, if I can do it, you can do it, but create a plan, okay. Use the tools, improve your financial literacy, say it will help you massively in the short terms and the long terms. Remember, if you like the videos, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you again soon.